are on the Jordan River Parkway heading north. Started at the Murray Front Runner Station. Went west on Vine Street a short distance. Got on the trail. We are now, um, actually I'm not exactly sure where we are. So maybe we're around 50th South. set a record. South, I think. came by and cut the weeds and the grasses on the side of the trail.
one freeway. Now we're going under 2100 South. Tastes good at all. Really, really bitter. Okay, we're coming up to the Three Rivers confluence. Um, the county or somebody's been building a, I think like a boat ramp here. The last year it's not open yet
Bye.
Fair Park. We're going around to the west side of it. That feels good on a hot day. Howdy. Hey. So there's a golf course here on our left. Squirrels on our right. Squirrel.
much what the Legacy Parkway Trail looks like. I'm not going to tape a lot of it because it's pretty much all the same. Legacy Parkway Freeway goes to our left. And then there's businesses and houses and stuff on the right. intersection the Legacy Parkway Trail turns right um, goes to the Farmington Front Runner Station it's actually closed right now for construction we are now on the Denver Rio Grande Rail Trail so this is gonna go long and straight for a long ways so this is Kind of what the Denver Rio Grande Rail Trail looks like. The Legacy Parkway Trail is over to the right of us quite a ways, over by the freeway. If it weren't closed for construction, you could go that way to the Farmington Front Runner Station. And the trail continues just a short distance past that to a, like a red barn road or something like that have to take that road to the west and connect back onto this trail if you want to continue north. Coming up to the railroad house. This guy built a whole big track in his, I don't know if you call it his backyard, it's huge property behind his house. Um, I've never actually seen the trains running because I don't usually come, I assume he runs them on the weekend, takes kids for rides. Pretty soon you won't be able to see it from the trail. It's got those trees growing there. I There's some cars, rail cars, a tunnel, and that's it. We must be in Kaysville because but gates are open. I think Kingsville is the only city that does that. This is this trail through here is pretty much a slow upgrade. Maybe one or two percent grade, one percent. And then it'll be uphill all the way through Clearfield. or stealing a tire.
looks like fun. Okay, there's a little bit of a downgrade here. Until we get to the gate that goes into the elementary school. walkway to the elementary school where my granddaughter goes. And then now we go, we start going uphill a little bit again. Or I don't know how far, a few miles. Actually until we get about to sunset I think. closer we get to Smith's grocery store, the more kids we run into. On your left. Coming through on your left. This girl's doing the floss as she walks. Okay, this is Kaysville, 200 North, and the Smiths. Kind of a busy road. Make sure the cars are gonna stop. Yeah, that guy didn't. He waved though. I guess that counts. Howdy. Okay, we're coming up to, I think this is Gentile Street. There's an onion distribution warehouse. station up there that I sometimes stop at to get a drink. But today I think we're just gonna blow right past it. Still on the Denver Rio Grande trail. We're in Layton. like today it's currently 92 degrees it was a hot day I was dehydrated um, this hill is about a mile and three quarters long it's not steep maybe two percent but for some reason I always push myself on it um, and like I said about two years ago I think it was on this hill that I started having a heart attack. Only I didn't know it was a heart attack, so I kept pushing until I got to the Roy Front Runner station. 
Then I took the train back to Murray and got off and went to the Intermountain Medical Center Hospital and had two stints put in. Today, I've kind of been taking this ride a little bit easy. underpass I think is probably about the halfway point but I don't know and it turns up a little bit steeper howdy sometimes I have a headwind sometimes I have a tailwind today there's just a little bit of a headwind doing about 15 miles an hour. I usually am doing 17 to 18 through here. There we'll speed up a little bit. Hate to waste a hill without getting some extra exercise. Okay, we're doing 17 miles an hour. Let's see if we can hit 18 before the top. 17.9, 18. Okay, we'll hang on to that. The hill is actually starting to level out a little bit. down this hill once at pretty good speed on the smooth cement when my front tire was low I hit this corner and went flat on my side try not to do that again seconds. Light yellow. Hurry. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure where we are now, but I think we're in Clearfield. Design this. It's kind of a cool spot. The trail is really bumpy because of all the tree roots. Still, it's really nice. But tree coverage, shade, leaves. Like I said, it's really bumpy. sunset but I'm not sure but I know there's a Maverick store here and quite often I stop here and get a Toll House cookie ice cream sandwich it is so refreshing a hot ride like this
once we get to these water towers, um, we're on the, if we were going to the Roy Front Runner Station, which I usually do, this would be the last section for the station. Today we're going to go past the Roy Station and go to, go into Ogden. Ogden, um, Ogden Station is the last one on the line. So the other day we went south to Provo, which was the end of the line that one, to the south. Today we're going north to Ogden, which is the end of the line, to the north. And from Murray, each one is almost exactly 50 miles. Okay, this road, if we were taking the Roy Station, we would turn right here, go up the little hill, and the tracks are right there. Um, we'd be on our way home. Instead, we're gonna go across. I've actually only been, they extended this trail not too long ago. I've only been on it twice. The trail used to end here. You have to turn left there and go up onto the highway and then I would follow some surface streets into Ogden. And then they extended this trail this way. Wow, these big tanks. Those water. of the trail. Oh, I think I see a golden spoke sign up there. Okay, it goes this way. This looks a lot like a sidewalk. equipment and 
other equipment on trail. Okay. Looks like they just cut the hay very recently. Within the last day or two. This is the end of the trail. It says pavement ends. And then well it turns left, but it's on gravel. Okay, well, I thought the trail ended here, and so this is where I turned and went down this road and across some bunch of busy highways and stuff into Ogden, but I've discovered that the trail actually continues. You just have to make a left turn here, which is a little counterintuitive, but it's the way it is. So today I am going to go the correct way and see if we can follow this trail all the way to the Ogden Railway Station. Five miles from the Murray Frontrunner Station. And we've come to, I don't know what road this is. joins on to what used to be another trail, but it's got a gate over it now. Okay, well, we just passed a sign, a campaign sign for a guy who wants to be mayor of West Haven. So I assume we're in West Haven. I think is 1900 West. 
busy highway. Here's where the trail gets a little tricky, I think. Fifty feet. Where am I? Turn right and then right. This trail to the right goes... I don't know where it goes, but it doesn't go to the railway station. So I need to turn left here. The map says after it thinks about it.
slight right on the hook and something. Must be right here. Thank <laughs> you. 